All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah! And today, we have a cornucopia of mods that I've added to the real world. So let's get into it, because I have a lot of stuff to pack into this video. Yes, but first, um, a new submission. Look at that. A nice modern house. Um, a cool modern house with a very basic shape. Very nice. Built by an Asian builder. Cool. It would be cool to find out what country. Um, because uh, in the response to, one, to my one video where I said, what country are you from? We have Italy uh, coming in. Um, we have Russia. Uh, I don't know if it's a regular person. In the, um, <laughs> we have as a viewer, but I uh, wanted to know if I was a developer. Uh, no, sadly, no. Um, where is, um, oh, oh, yeah, Swai Noob, S W I Noob, he is from Italy. Very cool. Video like this are so relaxing to me. Mind test is magic. Yes, they are. Very, very cool. Um, also have some real um, good responses. In the episode 250, Medieval Interiors, there are a lot of good, very, very cool links in there uh, for castles and such that uh, commenters have left. But this is the uh, screenshot. And one thing about around the pool here, you could see that the the block the nodes are not waterlogged because it takes up the entire node. One cool idea is to turn that step around, and you can create like a galley or a, a gutter for the water. And using the circular saw, you could literally go around. And create like a, a border around there, which would kind of give it a really cool appearance. I wish there was a way to make these nodes water um, waterlogged, so they don't have that uh, artificial bubble in there. But that is that. If we go over to the castles, some of the links that were added is this website here, which I will, um, if I remember correctly, put in the show notes. But all the links are already in there, but I'll try to re... Look at that. I'll try to re-put them in. That is absolutely gorgeous. To live in that time when that castle was, was in its uh, glory days. Wow. Here's another link that was uh, submitted. 50 uh, History Fangirl. 50 Most Beautiful Castles. And it links some British Isles. To see some of these... When, when they were brand new or, you know, in actual in use. Another one, 25 best. And look at that. I have to find the person that, that added these. Um, yeah, they're extremely well. A lot of inspiration to be had from here. So if you go, like I said, if you go back to episode 250, those are in there. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find the person. You know, it would help. <sighs> it would help if I actually had um, put all this together. I did, though. It's just I added this stuff in. Hmm, I can't find it right now, but in episode 250, there are some fantastic links, and I will, like I said, I will make sure I try to put them in there. And there's another one. Oh, my favorite castle. There, there she is. Imagi. I, I, I want to visit and walk through this entire castle. And from other videos I've seen on it, it takes 
about two days to really experience that castle. That being said, we are going to get started. Simbicon had um, had put a link in on the the, um, the video for the convenience store and about uh, stuff to put in the convenience store and sent the link to this my mods and stuff which again i will also put in the show description but this this mod adds an atm machine change a uh, snack machine cotton candy and popcorn and ice cream and freezers and a and a pos we will look at that so it adds different food items which you'll you'll see in a second um bills money items credit card <laughs> very cool stuff and a download link and a link to the github page where it's at there's one dependency or there's a, a the two dependencies home decor and default and food obviously default is always going to be um in there this food mod nowhere in in the uh blog and there's a lot of really cool stuff in here it doesn't appear to be updated recently, but um, the food mod is actually, if you go over to content db, mind, uh, content.mindtest.net, or if you're in the game, you go to your tab on um, uh, contents, and you will find that the food mod is by Ruben Wardy. And it adds the food items. This is a mod that is that the um, more machines mod depends on, and I'll show that in a second. Uh, other things I'm going to be showing in this cornucopia of mods episode is the item shelf. And I saw this a long time ago, but I never, I never used it. And um, there are no crafting recipes for this for you survival players. You have to use the um, either play on creative or use the give me command. Give me it now. I want it now. Very famous from Willy Wonka. <laughs> there. I want it now, Daddy. I want a golden goose now. <laughs> uh, okay. And um, these are really cool. I'm going to show those off real quick. And all the links will be in the show description. We also have the LED marquee by Vanessa E. And I got it working. Yes, very, very cool. So we are going to look at, at these. Now, very quickly, we are, oops, we are in. And another cool thing is too many nodes had updated the uh, C doors. So they now open by pressure plate. Watch this. Cool. Very nice. And it's raining again. Yes, I keep forgetting to turn that off. So let's look at the um, first item up for bids. The item shelf. And you can see there's stuff on there. You right click it. And there's stuff. I'm going to take some apples. Very nice. Now, these are the four shelf units. And if we go to here, we do item. We have a um, half open back shelf. We have a half shelf with six items holding. Uh, half shelf with four. What's that one? Oh, open back six, regular six. A shelf with six items and a shelf with four items. And that's what that gives. It gives shelves. There you go. And there's a six item shelf. Open, open <laughs> shelf. Gotta love it. So here's what the open back shelves look like. Very cool. Um, I wish there could be more choices in uh, materials, but. I'm sure that could be easily rectified. You can see this sits on half of a node or a little bit more. But as you can see here, I have it sitting in between. So it looks like they're back to back. 
Now the six one, if you if you put like let's put an apple in there and a block and uh, the point of sale, you can see how it kind of levitates a little bit, and that's fine. And you can come around here, and you can see the other. I I don't think that was supposed to add like that, but it works. It works very well. Take our stuff out. Here's some popcorn. So those are the item shelves. And they just work. They, they, these display, you can see how everything is sitting on the bottom of the shelf, all the closed for shelf. Like this one has all the chips and candies, uh, the power, the plots, plots, the, the, Flower, fl oh my, the flower pots. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and stuff from my barbecue. Um, here's uh, the food items, cheese and butter and Parmesan and stuff like that. Take a piece of cheese out. Oh, you can't. These will. I just ate the cheese. So that is your item shelves. Very nice. And I'm going to try to put timestamps in um, in the video so you can go to whatever mod you want. I should break this up between four different videos, but you know what? You're going to see this stuff anyway. And you're going to, and everybody's going to be asking, well, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? So that's the item shelves. And this all ties hand in hand with the More Machines mod. So we can come over here to more machines. This is a change making machine. We take a, a dollar bill here, throw it at the machine and get a coin. Cool. I know what happens when you hit it with a $10 bill. Let me make sure I have enough space in here to see what happens. Uh, nothing. It doesn't, it does oh, it won't take the $10 bill. Please insert it, oh, d duh. Please insert a dollar in the machine. Okay, I did. So that's that one. Very nice looking, too. There's a change machine. A lot of uses for that. We come over here to the popcorn machine. And let's, uh, let's throw a dollar at it. And watch what happens. Oh, look at, it followed me. Was that cool or what? Let's see how close I can get. It's following. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was, um, yeah. So more machines. The only one I did not put in. I don't know why. It was the popcorn or uh, that, that was the popcorn machine it was the, um, cotton candy machine. So let's get rid of this. And drop that in. Look at that. And the graphics, they're okay. I mean, obviously, if you look at that one, that one's high definition, but they're, they're very nice. So let's take a dollar bill and hit the machine with it. And we have some cotton candy. Because who doesn't like cotton candy? I'm going to fix this because obviously... This is, it, this is out of uh, place now. And then we can come over here. And we can put cotton candy up in our shelf. There you have it. Now what this is also supposed to work with is the, um, the cash register. So I'm going to put that out. You, here's my POS system. And here's the mods. And very nice graphics. So when you hit it, you could actually like put money in there and stuff like that. So you do have a full, you know, somebody, you can come up and put an item and then charge money for it. So we put a bag of popcorn there. That's a big bag of popcorn. Charge a dollar, put the dollar into the uh, register. Oh no. And go from, there we go. I fixed it and go from there. 
that will that will work and the coins will work also so let's take a look at the other machines real quick we have an atm machine so in that mod of more machines there's also a credit card so we hit the credit card on there and we get some money we get a ten dollar bill very <laughs> I don't want to see my account after this. Unfortunately, the credit card doesn't work on the vending machine. You can only hit it with a dollar. So you hit the vending machine with a dollar. And we have some food. And there's another food. And some gum. So it randomly goes through. And I got a, I got a bag of cookies, a bag of chips, and some gum. Very cool. Let's hit it again and see what happens. I have $72. Ah, I got another. Oh, no, no, no. I, get, I did get something different. I got some cheese snacks. Cool. And I believe you can hit it. Yep. You can hit it with the coin. And the coin will go away. And it was so does the dollars and stuff like that. So, let's go put our newly items down here on the shelf. So, we have some cheese. And the nice thing about these, and a chocolate bar. And that's how they look. They will, uh, let's go to the other side. They will stack on a shelf. Where did I put the other cheese? Uh, let's just grab one here and put, put it right there. There's a box of cheese snacks. So that's kind of cool. It's the, the foods will actually will actually sit. So that is your more machines mod. And it gives five different or yeah, five different machines. And I will show another use for these real quickly. If we go down to the train station and we're going to go into don't peek at the sign. And here we have a little setup of a snack room in our in our train station. Well, I should show you the sign now that we're here. You see, you can't just get away with showing one. You have to show them all. As you can see here, here is the LED uh, marquee. And it's showing. Let's let it cycle through here. This is really cool. I, I wish I would have seen this a long time ago. I did, but it has Lua programming. And that kind of scared me off. So this is a blue line. Somebody said that my blue glass looked gaudy. Huh. I like my blue glass. <laughs> so there. <laughs> Everything's to the eye of the beholder. Here's a little workshop I have set up over here uh, for this. Oh, this locker comes with the More Machines mod also. So we could put our cheese snacks in there. Wait, let me just grab. We could put a cheese snack in there. So when they're programming down here, they could have some cheese. Yeah. So I just put a computer. This is cool. I put that in there. I will show you how. So this display comes up with, the, with this. So the idea here is that sign outside is programmed through this interface and this computer. Yeah. That's from the uh, computer deco. So I, I, I put these up here. There's digi lines. I'm going to show how... I, I'm going to show how this is done. There's a Lua controller over here. And there's the microcontroller. And there's the code. So I will show that. It's, it's, it's very easy. Once you, once you figure it out. Now, the thing is, with that marquee, you have to go to the forum page. And you have to go to the sword, towards the end of the forum, pa forum page. Because to change the colors, there was two different ways that she did it. Vanessa E. did it. And one was um, uh, char dot or string dot char um, with uh, parentheses and the color code zero through you know whatever, and then she changed it to the way that I will show here. So that's how you change colors. But I'll show you how to do a sign. So these are all different uh, signs. These um, marquee panels. So let's go up and play with a couple because I have them running and they're, they're very neat. 
over here. I did sign. So this was the final idea that I came up with. It's a gas. It's a sign that says gas in blue. You can see over in the distance what we're going to do. Very cool. So I like that solution. Now this is from the um, industrial bridge, which is in the 5.0 content mind test. There's the Lua controller. The Lua controller butts up to the panels. And all I did with this is these are, um, oops, these are panels that I cut on the circular saw to build the outer part of the box. And you can see how that, that goes around. That's how I did that. And then I just used a screwdriver to use this trap door because the trap door is always like that. So if you take your screwdriver and you just hit it, you basically do whatever you want with that. That's kind of cool too. Uh, do, can you say doggy door? If you turn the doggy door up like this and then hit it, you have a real cool like a uh, pet door. Just an idea. So this one also, here's my, um, I, I stopped the scrolling on it, but it's very simple. To get a very simple message to go is digiline underscore send, and then bracket your, your um, <laughs> parenthesis, and then, um, oh my God, double parenthesis, and this first entry here is going to be the channel that you program your panel, and then a comma, and it's, it's string, it's text, so it has to be surrounded by quotes, double quote. And then you see here I have another, another double quote, and it has a forward slash eight, and then my text. This is the color designator. So I will show that uh, even more in depth. This does not show up. If you do want a slash, you have to escape it with a double slash. And that will tell the program, and most programming languages, that you want to show that slash. And then you hit execute, and it starts the program, and it will continue and save that as you go along. So I was going to do this. This is going to take too long, but I'm going to show you some working examples of this. So you can see here, as I approach, it kicks up. This is like the cars. You, you see the cars pop in when you get to a certain point. So we have mine test in red. RGS Pro is cool. Thank you. No, it's cool. Smiley face. <laughs> and there we go. So that's scrolling. The top one is static. And here's a bottom panel that just says, um, come on. I put too much pauses, or I put, I put too many spaces in it. Go. Go where? You might say. Away. Oh, okay. This is in its simplest form. You have a panel, or a bunch of panels, and a Lua controller. However, if you see here, I've gotten creative with it. Now, this one's a little more, um, this one's a little more complex. Because it's using DigiLines. You can see that DigiLine block right there. But these are from the streets mod. Now, what that means is that's from uh, streets big pole. These poles are also what is used to mount. It won't keep the fog off to mount traffic lights and the traffic signal because these poles are conductive, and that's a that's going to be important. You can see how I have different colors. For every letter. Very nice. Hi, Mr. Turtle. So, in the ground here, I have a Lua controller. And I also have some DigiLines set up. Did I just break my DigiLine? Yes, I did. 
not good. So it comes from, let's open that up. It comes from the Lua controller and it's some DigiLine. I could have, I could have put the Lua controller right next to that and that would have still conducted. So we have the DigiLine, but this is how you would do. So let's say I have the Lua controller here and I wanted to feed that sign over there. I could just run from here, run off this uh, DigiLine over to that sign and it would work. So here's the Lua controller from Misicons. And you have your DigiLine two here. This is a DigiBlock or DigiMes. And then this pole is conductive, so I don't have to run a DigiLine, you know, up to it and be ugly. Because that would be not not cool. And then it goes up to the panels. So if we take that away, we can see my little, um, now the reason why I have this like this is how this is, how this works. So the farthest left panel is the one that you will program a channel name. And I'm going to show that. These other panels do not get a channel name unless you're going to use them for something different. But then you just get one letter. So this one is RGS 14 or whatever you want to name it. This is RGS 13. So, and I didn't have to, I didn't have to do that. Um, by just doing this one here, this panel here, all these panels will be connected to this panel and it reads left to right. So if you're scrolling, it would actually come down here and then come up here which that's kind of cool too. So what we are going to do is we are going to demonstrate. We're going to demonstrate this and you can get real creative. I mean, look at that. It's kind of a big billboard, but it works. So let's go over here and man, there's a lot of, a lot of mess. Go away, horsey. We're going to demonstrate this with, with all these panels. And you're going to have to go into, um, if you play in creative or uh, survival, uh, you can just go in and crafting guide. Oh, let's try this. You know what? I wanted to see if this had this. No, there's no crafting guide for these. So apparently that's, you have to use give me security camera i forgot to show that oh that's not what i wanted led underscore brings up marquee there's a crafting guide for the marquee got some glass got some uh, miscon lamps a lua control a microcontroller and wood any item belonging to the wood group will create that very cool so on here we only have to program the far left channel. So we're going to say M test and hit proceed. That is now channel M test. Very nice. So let us grab a Lua controller right here. Wow, I got lots of stuff here. And we're going to place the Lua controller on the ground. <laughs> there we go. We're going to put a, a, a thing of whatever that is, coal, I think. Yeah, coal block. Now we are going to take our DigiLine and we are going to go. Hmm. You know, I didn't think this one out again. I did not think this out, but it's fine. That's weird. Just to make things simple, we're going to grab this. I did it before. Look at that. I know there's an easier way, and you guys are going to flood the. Uh, you're going to flood the comments. 
and go, oh, you know, you just had to do uh, this. Yes. Yes, I know. So now let's program this real quick. And we're going to go into here and we're going to type digi underscore. <laughs> I forgot it already. Oh, my. Digiline send. You know what we're going to do? We're going to copy this because we're going to use that. So there we go. You go in here and we're going to paste it. Digiline underscore send parenthesis quotation double quote test. Now we have to change that to M test. And we have to change this one to M test and this one. So you this first parameter, this first argument is the Lua. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. That panel right there, M test. It erased everything because that's how it rolls. But we will rectify that. So M test, M test, M test. It will save if you hit execute, which I just did so I can get out of it. So now what we have here is the first, the first parameter is M test, which is our panel and then comma and then our text. And it has to be in these print, uh, uh, quotes, double quotes, scroll underscore speed. The, the higher the number, the slower. Um, did you line? And then the next line, did you line send the panel that we want? Start scroll. Is so this will cause it to scroll. Did you line underscore send M test? And then our uh, forward slash eight, which is the color blue, the text, and then color two, which I believe is like uh, yellow. And that's also in the in the forum post. So zero is red, one is orange, two is yellow, three is aqua, I believe, or lime, four is green, and, and so forth. And then I have uh, number four, forward slash four is cool an exclamation or cool with a smiley face and there you could do emojis um there's for musical characters and other special characters you can light up all the thing I, that's char character 144 and that's also in the demonstration code inside the forum post so that's all in there we hit execute there's no errors an error will come up here so if i take out that uh parenthesis and hit error look at Load three expected, it expected a parenthesis near end of field. We go back up here and do that. And our error goes away. Hit escape. And let's look at our board. Our board's not doing anything. And I think I know why. Because it's not actually connected. There we go. Let's go back here and hit execute again. Look at that. Let's go back here and get a better look at it. So you can see how the smiley face has started at the bottom. It's coming up here. That's kind of cool. So literally I could have like our gas station sign. I could have gas city. And then I could have like the price of scrolling. But you're going to have to use your imagination. And the use of the DigiLine, you know, to go that route. So let's say I was creating a billboard right here. I wouldn't even have to put all this here. I could just take this Lua controller and put it right behind the panel. And that would work too. But you can see how that's working. And then let's, let's say you wanted to stop the scroll. Let's put a couple dashes in there. And then it should have stopped it. Oh, no, it didn't. Hmm. 
because I want to take it. There we go. There, there's kind of where it stopped. I believe I have a, a space. Yeah, I have some spaces in here. So let's take this back. There you go. That's how that works. So it's very simple. Um, unfortunately, I could not remember that off the top of my head. I had to uh, copy and paste. But make, and make yourself a notebook if you're going to use this. And you can get it real elaborate with this. One of the things that I would like to, to try is making it kind of custom. So we, get, we got scrolling. But what would be neat is if I could, I could separate these panels. So we have M test up here. And then we have M test. Yeah, I can make this M test one and make these two lines all connected, but this one's separate. So I could put a static message in here and I could put the scrolling message down here. That will work too. So how do I, how do I mean that? Let's copy this line and let's paste it. And we're going to call this one M test one. And we're going to change this to zero. And it's default. And we're going to come up here and change this text to, um, what do we want to say? Mind test. I think it's, now oh, it's going to go over. No problem. So we have mind test one is going to say RGS Pro is cool. Mind test two is going to say mind test. We're going to hit we're going to hit that, but we're going to add some more panels here and redo this because let's see that should be enough. to make this work. And then we're going bye-bye. This is an awful big billboard too. Now there is uh, something in the, in the form. Uh, somebody put in some different controllers. Okay. Ah, I made a mistake. So this is going to be mind test one. That's the one we want to scroll. Mind test two, we do not want to scroll. So we're going to hit that. And we forgot to, to um, test one. So now we come back in here, hit ex execute, and it still doesn't do what I want. M test one, proceed. So, oh, <laughs> duh. And it, it takes a little time to, to get all this, but you have to remember to hit execute after you make changes. And it's still not scrolling, is it? M test one, M test. Why aren't you scrolling? Oh, you see what I'm talking about? There's a, there's a reason why. Walk. We didn't put. <laughs> basic block behind it. Let's re-execute. Look at that. Now it's going. So we've created we've created mind test is cool. Did I take out RGS Pro? Smiley face. And it's gonna go all the way off and then it's gonna come back. RGS Pro is that was cool. What I would like to do is is make it where this would like blink three times and then stop. So you could have, but I'd like to do that with the scrolling. So in other words, like you could have a line come up and flash and then there. So that's it. There you have it. Um, that's, that is the cornucopia of mods, which I should have did all in, um, in separate videos. That's a cool billboard. You could actually have that over a, a city highway and have directions and stuff put into there. But 
you can see how I got creative with that and it works there is the code you can pause it on when when I get to that you can see I, we're far enough away that the back one stopped scrolling but you can see there we go it works so that is how you do it I'm gonna put that up here so if you want you could you could, you could hit pause and you could copy down this code now you see this string dot char that was the old way of doing it and I forgot to take it out um, which is why it's in red but you can see here the slash one is the M slash two is the I slash three is the N and that's how I did um, that is how I did each number for each each character has a different color set oh that's on the other side duh each mind test has a different color now I'll put this area back to normal so next video you next time I'm up here in the modern world you'll probably see that sign replaced and the gas sign so that is it this area up here is complete we have the upgraded C doors which now work on that we have the item shelves with the items very nicely done and we have all the there's a locker unfortunately some of this digiline stuff like this digiline distributor distributor uh, doesn't work but the poles are conductive and they will work and go from there here's your item shelves your different item shelves see-through non-see-through and, and you know you, you know how I I put these down facing this way so I put it at the back of the node and then came over here and then so these I, I placed like that and then there now to place stuff on top of each other just like anything else you have to so now if I place that there that's how I did that but you see over here you have to hit your sneak key and that'll do that or else you'll just get that popping up that's how that works so we have more machines with the that's the item shelves we have the LED market marquee and we have the uh, the machines cotton candy change popcorn ATM and snack machine that's going to do it I am going home now and looks that's what that's the look I was looking for because in in a lot of um, like in Japan they have a lot of vending machines and such out in front of their convenience stores and in there I was uh, also make a quick correction on the 7-Elevens not all 7-Elevens in the United States or in Illinois have uh, gas pumps attached to them um, those are it, it, most of a lot of them do especially around my area the the 7-elevens do have the gas pumps attached to them but not all convenience stores do so there and that's it until here's my little uh there's my little break and snack room and there's my signs so until next episode thank you very much for uh watching until next episode goodbye